Hey there, everyone. Let's do a Wednesday night recap of MLB. We're, we're taking on Professor Sides. Uh, he's he's a really smart uh, statistics professor, uh, clearly, and spends a lot of time with baseball and has his sheet, and he does some interesting things. And I, I really like that he's one of the rare people that puts out a very coherent spreadsheet every day with a backup, you know, of why he's doing what he's doing here, um, odds-wise. I, I really... Appreciate what he's doing, and he's he's a nice guy. He responded today, so I think he's he's not going to come shouting me down for being crazy. So he's super nice. Now we're going to talk about today. Today, I think the title of the video, right? The algorithm strikes back. The two A picks that the professor had, the Cardinals and the Marlins, both lost. And the algorithm, as much as I tried to talk us out of it in the game, the algorithm predicts the Angels game score exactly. And I'm like, oh, Miami might come back and hit Otani. Don't ever listen to me. Always listen to the algorithm. Son of a gun. I mean, I, mean, <laughs> I bet on Miami. I was like, ah, Professor's probably right. It's a good line. It's a really low down game. Wrong. Algorithm hits that. Um, let's take a look at what the algorithm is doing um, right now. There's some obviously still some games in progress. There is a Mets game here uh, where they're in the top of the 10th up 4-3. We'll see if they can add some more of that. The Yankees have jumped up and are now up 5-0. Tampa Bay. Look at look at Houston now coming back. Uh, they were down five something terrible. Um, now there it's already five four. So we can update that here a little bit, and we can talk about what the algorithm is doing today. And also for those of you who have ever seen the video with the round robin parlay calculator file, I have. I'm going to build that into the MLB algorithm so that it can be connected to the day, and we can do sample large round robins. That's something I have on the schedule here for this week to, to code that in Google Sheets and get that done. So that's what this is going to be here. Anyway, um, as for what's going on today right now, if the Mets hold on to win, and we will see if they do, you have a look like this that uh, was looking terrible, but it's starting to look a little better. So what's going on here is once again, those two games, the Angels and the St. Louis Atlanta game, both low on the algorithms list. I'm going to say MXP factors is too low. So it said not to bet them at those lines, but it is right. And they do win. And especially the Atlanta game, something I did bet in that Atlanta game was uh, I saw a low scoring game with those pitchers and the over under was nine in the Atlanta game. Where is that right here? Yeah. I actually got under nine at a reasonable line and that wasn't even close as this game ends three, nothing. Uh, Atlanta, I, I said in the video bet St. Louis plus one and a half because it was supposed to be closer, but St. Louis couldn't get the runs in with the bases loaded. They, they couldn't do it. They couldn't hit Atlanta. So Atlanta wins this game and the under was the, was the play, which I did have one, on one ticket at least. Now let's go back and see what else is going on here. Um, after updating all these lineups, um, we need to sort this by pick rank, right? What's going on here? Go ascending by pick rank. It's happening. Things are looking a little weird. Pick rank by MXP. There we go. So that's the order of things by MXP. The Yankees have jumped off. Yeah, they're up like five nothing now. So they finally broke away in this game. Houston may come back. So this game is not over, right? The Mets came back down three two, and as of right now, are. Up 5-3. They're now covering one and a half. See if they can hold that off there. The Diamondbacks, as the underdog, are winning. Okay. So some things are happening that are actually opening up and making the algorithm look a little better on the day. It's just, it's so tough. It's so tough to beat the algorithm. I mean, the algorithm just it doesn't have those biases that we do. It doesn't think like we do. And for some reason, it just does better. Five, four, one, nothing. Yet, but that's all. That's all good. So, let's go back to here for a second. So, you expect Houston to come back because that game is only in what the sixth inning. Yeah, I mean, Houston is probably actually a favored line even in the sixth inning. They're down to run, so they're probably you know yeah, I'm not going to call it yet, but but they probably can come back. Boston gets crushed. I don't know why this is happening. Minnesota loses a game where they had the lead five different times and lost nine to eight. Um, they just kept scoring and getting tied, scoring and getting tied. It was unbelievable. So that, that sucks, but I mean, whatever. That, that looks like they had the offense there, just didn't win. 
Dodgers are playing right now. Milwaukee was at a terrible line. At least we put the algorithm put this down here. Why on earth did they get beat by in a low scoring game to the Cubs, right? I think that's what happened there. Uh, yep, just two to one. This game ends up being right, right there. It it had a good. It just the line was bad at least. So we had it down there, but can't avoid it. Odds makers and us and I actually Professor Sides had the Cubs. Professor, how do I get this out of here? Professor Sides had the Cub. He had them right here at plus 215 because of a, of a great line. So here's one where the professor beats the algorithm. And I would like to start building into the algorithm this idea, which is take the line, this crazy, crazy Milwaukee line, right? Uh, where's all these games going? This line right here of 210 and be like, all right, well, Corbin Burns, you know, Adrian Sampson is actually have a, he actually does have a good ERA. The Cubs are playing okay. Find some way, the close lineup factor, something to say that at least the Cubs plus one and a half, but it just couldn't get there. It said it was still supposed to be five, two with Milwaukee at home, but just, it just couldn't do it. Um, so it's a tough game to get the algorithm to win. So whatever the professor did on the Cubs game, I, I like seeing that because it's there's definitely value there because we can see, can see in the pivot and everything, we can see that Milwaukee's orange line, like this is another one we probably shouldn't have bet Philly. Orange lines down here that they're just they're just not good now. That's why it says stay away. Look, Cleveland way down here at least. Cleveland loses, but they're way down there and they got a pretty bad line. So I, you know, what do you do with these games? You, you kind of know to stay away from them from the algorithm, but the professor knows to bet the Cubs apparently because because they are going to win one out of three times and you're going to get paid. So that's an interesting thought about when looking at the algorithm and looking at how bad the lines are. So you can see this Dodgers are, are actually pretty far down here. I have them to win uh, to cover one and a half and score some runs. We'll see if that happens tonight. Uh, so that that's basically kind of what I wanted to talk about is um he gets the Phillies he loses he might lose this if he lose if you lose the Giants and Arizona wins like the algorithm says then the algorithm really really knocks him off uh, it does beat the two apex though so I have to say that the day is going to the algorithm regardless he does have the White Sox he does Oakland here but but uh Toronto wins Baltimore wins a close one he has Tampa Bay that's that's true but he has the pirates here. So I think the algorithm beats him barely and it'll probably be beat barely by percentage as well today, but we'll, we'll do another video tomorrow and go over the picks. Cause you know, he's going to get it up there. And so um, it should be interesting. Cause I, I really like seeing stuff like this. Um, I, would, I would have liked to see more a picks today. It was only two. I'm surprised why it was only two. Um, we'll see about that tomorrow. So, all right, guys. Um, it's, an interesting day. It's not obviously not going to be a great day because you can't have a great day losing Boston, Minnesota, and Milwaukee. But it could be an okay day for a few things, and uh, hopefully Houston will come back there, and Arizona will hold on, and the Dodgers will win, and then actually will be a decent day. All right. So good luck, everyone. I hope your picks are have been winning. We'll continue to win, and we'll be back tomorrow.